Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna teach you how to solve the craziest Fibates Fibay 2. I'm making this tutorial because I think all other tutorials on the internet are either too long or not, not, not clear enough. So the steps in solving the crazy 3x3x2 three by three by is first you need to scramble the puzzle of course. Remember to use the A move if you want more of a challenge. And then the second stage is is solving the inner circles. And then you need to solve the cross on the bottom layer. Then you complete the entire first layer. After that you solve the last layer corner. And then finally you finish the puzzle. You solve the edges. Now I'm gonna go over the steps with a little more details. So first I will scramble it. And the first part in solving the inner circles is solving it. the first part in solving the inner circles is solving the inner circle edges. So in the beginning is pretty simple. You try you just try to put them down to their location until you have you, know, you may have one edge or two edges that are impossible to put simply by spinning these layers. So what you're gonna have to do is put them on the side, not on, on the left or on the right, on the top, not on the bottom. So and then you do M, U two, M, and then you do the same. You just you can put the other edges normally like you would. So I'll take this down and this down. Next stage is solving the inner circle corners. What you need to do here is simply when you have two corners to insert them, you do f2 r2 f2 r2 and here they're inserted and then again you put it on the front and do f2 r2 f2 r2 and the inner circle is solved now you might have a situation while solving the edges well where it's something like when solving the corners where it's something like this that you can that you cannot put the the corners in because they're above the solve uh, slot. What you're gonna have to do then is put it on the back, the two edges, and then the this will be in the front that where they have to go. And you do M U two M, and then you do F F two, and it solve. This is the first step, step. It's not too complicated. If you didn't understand, just rewatch the video. Uh, now the next stage, as I said, is solving the cross of the bottom layer. Now to do that, you're gonna have to find your latch corner. What's the what is the latch co the latch corner? The latch corner is the corner that latches the the outer circles, the outer face with the inner circle. Now how do you find this latch corner? You're gonna first see which face is latched. Now I see that the bottom face is the last face because it's moving both fa both inner circles. So I know that latch corner is one of these four corners. Now I'm going to see if the co this if the corner is in one of these two. I'm going to take this up, spin. Now I see this is still the latch face, meaning one of these two are the latch corner. Now I'm going to take this corner and this corner up. And I'm so gonna see this is still the last phase, meaning this is the corner that latches the outside and the inside circle. So when I take it up, the upper circle is the, uh, both circles are the last ones. This is the one. It, do, it will be different on every cube. Mine is the yellow, orange, blue. Yours can be anything else. So the first step in solving the cross is solving the two edges that are next to the last corner. So I'm gonna start with the orange blue edge. No, orange yellow edge. It's over here. So you're gonna do 
you put it above where it should go and you do u m2 u m2 and solve now if you have a case like this when the edge where the edge is already on the bottom layer and if it's next to the bottom to the last corner you do m to u m to u and if it's not you simply take it up move it away and take it down because the upper face will not latch and then you insert it with m to u to m to u m to now you do the same for the other edge that is next to the latch corner and where is it? Here. The blue edge is here. So as I said, you take it up, you move it aside, and you play. You return this. Now it's on the upper layer. You put it above the, where it should go. You do U, M2, U, M2, and it solves. So now you have the two edges next to the latch corner. They are solved. Now the remaining two edges, you see, you know that in the opposite to side to the blue, you should have the green edge. Here is the green yellow edge. It's very simple. All you have to do is take is do take it up and move it and take it down. Since you don't have the upper face latched, you can really turn it. Now the same thing for the other in front in the opposite of yeah of orange you have red. So you simply take this face up, move the edge over there, and you take it back down. Now, the next stage, next step is the is to complete the first layer by solving the corners. You're gonna need to learn an algorithm for that. And the algorithm is pretty simple. It's R to U, R to U prime, R two. It's pretty simple. R to U, R to U prime, R two. It will be in the description. Now, to insert this corner, you're gonna do the, you do, you're gonna do u and then you're gonna do this alg r to u r to u prime r to and then you're gonna do u prime to return the u that you've done before and you're gonna do it again r to u r to u prime r to and this corner is solved now next corner is the re yellow red green you put it above the yellow red green green and you're gonna do u r to u R to U prime R two, then you're gonna do U prime R two U R two U prime R two. Next corner is solved. Now the last corner, the yellow blue red, and here the yellow blue red. U, then the algorithm, and then U prime and the algorithm again. Then you're gonna have the first layer completely solved. Now, if you don't have it, just rewatch the tutorial, see where you were wrong. Now, it's time for the last layer corners. What you're going to do here is you're going to put the latch corner, for me, the yellow, blue, orange, on the down, back, left, here. So, and then you're going to do the algorithm you have done before for the first layer corners, R to U r2 u prime r2 then you're going to do a y prime rotate the cube this direction and r and you're going to do the inverse of the alg before so r2 u prime r2 u r2 then you're going to do a y2 so rotate the cube one and 180 degrees do a u prime and then the alg the corner alg for but with the left side so l2 u prime l2 u l2 it's the same algorithm just from different side and then you're going to do the same the same algorithm the inverse of it on the left side so l2 u l2 u prime l2 and then you should have all the corners solved now i'm going to go over, over the edges this is the last part you have a different algorithm for that. You have two algorithms. One is to swap two adjacent edges, and one is to swap two opposite edges. So to swap two opposite edges, what you have to do is make sure that the latch corner is not on the right face. It can be on the left face, so here it is on the left face for me. If it's not, just move it with the D or D2. And then you do R2, U2, 
R2, U2, R2, U2. That's it. It swapped these two edges and it's swapped these two bars. You shouldn't care about this now. Now to swap two adjacent ed edges, what you have to do, the algorithm is R2, U, R2, U, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. Now for me the cube is solved. This is all, all the algorithms will be in the description, but for me the cube is now solved. But you might have a situation where these bars are both swapped. What you're going to do then is do the parity algorithm. It's pretty short, not like 4 and 4 on 4 and 4 parity. So it's R2 M U2 M, R2 M U2 M, and then R2 again. What this is going to do is it's going to swap these two edges without swapping these two bars. Now you can simply solve it like you usually would have. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching. Comment if you have any questions, please let me know. So now I'm going to do an example solve before I want to say sorry for the bad lighting that I had during the tutorial. I forgot to turn the, the light on. Let's, let's begin with the, the example solve. Now here I see that I have both edges not possible to insert the usual way. So I'm going to put it on one edge on the side and do M U2 M, sorry M prime U2 M and then they can insert that edge normally and then the same for this other edge which, which, cannot, which cannot go down there M prime U2 M and then R2 and I, okay and I'm gonna insert the edge normally now these two corners are as I said they are not above the, where they should go so I'm simply gonna do M M prime U2 M I'm sorry for confusing M and M prime. And then I'm going to insert this edge. And I have what I talked about before, where these two are not above this. So I'm going to do M prime U2 M F2. Same thing I had in the tutorial. Now my latch corner is the is still the yellow, orange, blue. So here is the the blue yellow edge, I'm going to take it out. And now I'm going to insert it here with U M2. U M2. Now the orange edge is here, so I'm going to first take it out, then insert it with M2. U M2, because it was already after the U. Now this green edge I'm going to take, it's in the opposite side of the blue, so I'm going to take this part, this one up, move this above where it should go and put it down now the last edge should go here the same thing just like that now to insert the corner i put it above where it should go and the u the, the corner algorithm u prime the corner algorithm again it's solved next corner above where it should go u corner algorithm u prime then corner algorithm again then the last corner above where it should go, U corner algorithm, U prime corner algorithm again, and I have the first layer completely solved. Now, I didn't said before that the headlight should be in the front if you have headlights when before doing the alg, but if you don't have headlights, you simply do the algorithm either way. So. The latch corner is on the bottom back left. And I do the same the normal corner algorithm. Y prime, the inverse. Y two, U prime, the algorithm with the left hand. Y, and then the inverse with the left hand. And now I should have headlights here. They're on the back. So the last corner again to the back left, I put the headlights in front. Uh, now I do the algorithm. Y prime into the algorithm inverse. Y2, U prime, the algorithm with the left hand. And then Y 
and the algorithm with left and inverse. And I have the, the corner stopped. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve these edges. So I'm going to do the adjacent swap algorithm. And first I'm going to take the latch corner out of the way. Now so I'm, the algorithm. And the cube is solved, except this bar is not is swapped. So I'm going to do the parity algorithm. And the cube is solved. That's it. I, if you still have any questions, comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. On the left, I have a video where I announce a new series I'm making. And on the right, I have the cubicle assorted silicon loop unboxing and review. Bye!